This conference will now be recorded. All right, so without further ado, I'd love to introduce Cece with Authentic Heartwork for today's class. Thank you, Cece. Take it You're away. Welcome. Hi, guys. How are you? So I am um, I'm really excited to be able to do this with you. You are my second online class. I'm trying to adjust to this new um, indirect contact. I really like to be able to teach in person, but I found a way to make this really special. So if you do have any questions while I'm teaching, you know, just let me know. I'm not really sure what supplies you are working with. So if you can all kind of give me an idea, if you have supplies, if you are painting along with us, if so, what are you painting? Just wanted to kind of get an idea of, you know, what everyone's doing. And also some of us, I think, came on to just as well, just to also watch and learn okay. and then get the materials too. But I did put the materials are on the calendar posting. If after the class, anyone wanted to look at the materials, the ones that you sent me, I have posted on the calendar. So everyone can check that out if they'd like. Just here to learn, okay. All right, great. So I guess I'll get started then. So we're painting uh, clay pots. This is one of the bigger ones that I did last year. So we're gonna be copying this. I like to use a lot of color. So I'm just going to be showing you how I did this particular painting. If you want to do it in your own style, that's fine. You don't have to make it exactly like mine, but I'll show you exactly how I did this one. So the colors that we need are pink, yellow, purple, teal, and some black. So the paints that I like to use, and I'll just show you, I'm using a little easel, my, not an easel, uh, palette here. So it's really tiny. I got this from Michael's. It was very cheap. I think it was like a dollar. And this is what I'm going to be using today. It's made of plastic. You can use a paper plate or whatever resources or materials that you have access to is fine even foil paper works. So I'm going to show you the colors that I'm using and one second. So we switched the one that we were going to do originally, <laughs> so I have to get more colors. So I'm using acrylic paint and I'm kind of mixing it with different things. Either way, it sticks. Like, this is an actual flower pot that had something in it that I replanted. And as you can see, it's a year old and the paint stayed. It still looks like it's in really good shape, right? So, you can definitely use acrylic. Um, you could mix it also with, I like Martha Stewart. What can you see? Yeah, this is a Martha Stewart brand. And I got this also from Michaels. So I'm going to start with my pink. So I just squeezed some of my pink paint into my mixing palette. And I'm taking a baby uh, ceramic pot. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Uh, Michael's was closed. It's not considered essential. But the Dollar Tree is open. And the Dollar Tree has these three for one dollar. I didn't steal inside of the pot. No, there's no seal. I'm sure there may be something that you can always use, but I didn't do anything. It's just, this is a raw acrylic. Yeah, so I'll get started. So this is my brush that I'm using. It's kind of a rounded tip. Again, I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna take some pink paint. And the first thing I'm gonna be doing is the base of the pot. So. You kind of measure how much of the pink you want or whatever color that you're using and you just start to paint all the way around. One of the cool things about clay and acrylic is that the clay soaks up the acrylic paint fairly quickly so it dries fast which means you could continue to build layers and layers and layers and layers until you're fully satisfied with the type of coverage you have. So I really like when my colors are super bright. So I tend to layer. That's totally up to you if you want to do that. But just know that if you're working with 
acrylic, it dries very quickly. It's already dry. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one more. And that's my dog, Mocha. She's saying hello to everyone. So I have two dogs here right now. I have four birds and two kids. So if we get distracted, guys, forgive me. That will happen at any moment, but we'll just keep painting. I'm also gonna be playing music, so if you are painting along with me and you have any questions, feel free to check in and write me a note. Okay. Cool. Oh, I can see the chat, perfect. So I'm just adding another layer of pink until I feel satisfied with the color. And now I think it looks good. So I have my cup of water here. I'm gonna give my brush a good rinse. Blot dry on the paper towel. Move it down a little. And then I'm gonna go for my next color, which is purple. So let's see, I think I'm going to use my Martha Stewart purple today. Can you see? Okay. So this is a Martha Stewart. Oh, I hope you could see it. And it's multi-surface satin acrylic paint. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let me put this here. Same brush, nice and clean. Excuse me, Mr. Ross. And I'm gonna take my purple paint. And, oops, see, made a mistake, wipe it right off. It's like nothing happened. <laughs> so I'm taking my purple, and I'm going to paint the rest of this section in purple all the way around. It's kind of like Easter colors, very soothing, pastel. Again, if you wanted to use different colors, by all means, you should. I chose these colors because they happen to be my favorite colors. So all the way around, notice how I'm turning the actual clay pot. So it makes it a little bit easier. And if there are any clumps of paint, just spread it out so it's nice and thin and it dries quickly. So that's the secret of drying it fast, not putting too much paint in any one area. You want to spread it out evenly so that it could be nice and thin so it could dry fast. So as I'm turning, I'm bringing my purple all the way around, turning the clay pot, helping me to create a nice, clean, straight line. So the brush I'm using is also very helpful because it's working with me. The bristles are all together and I'm able to have more control of my brush that way. So make sure whichever brush you're using is working with you. Okay. It helps a lot to have a good brush. Like I said, this brush, I got this from the Dollar Tree. And it's called Master Stroke. It's a filbert. So I'm using a filbert brush. I like the filbert brush. It's very rounded and it gives you the exact precision you need. But some people like to work with other brushes like an angled brush or a square tip brush is also good. There's no right or wrong. Whatever feels comfortable for you works. So I'm taking it all the way around and I'm going to add another layer of purple. Same thing we did with the pink, just taking it all the way around, all the way around. And making sure I have full coverage. Okay, and again, it dries so quickly. 
nice and easy does it. So there's my purple and my pink. And then now my, ne my next color is going to be this teal color. So I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm going to look for the color that we're using next. So this is called, it's a Martha Stewart, once again, my favorite, okay? It's called Pearl, and it's actually the Oasis Teal, Oasis Teal, okay? I'm pretty sure you can order it online at Michael's, um, but that's where I got this from, you know, when Michael's was open. So... This is the color, or actually, this is a little darker, this teal. Um, you can also use aqua green. I think I'm going to go with the aqua green. Or maybe I'll use both. Who knows? Let's have a little fun with it. Okay, so this was a regular acrylic, by the way. This is what we use for canvas. It could also work for your clay pot. Okay, so... I'm going to take my nice clean filbert brush, flat dry it on my paper towel, and I'm going to take the clay pot. I'm gonna go with the aqua green because it's so much brighter and just happier. <laughs> so we're gonna use the aqua green today instead of the teal. And just painting at the top this part of your clay pot. Okay, same thing you did before with the pink, same thing you did with the purple. If you want to add two layers to make your color extra, extra bright, that's nice and easy because it's going to dry so quickly that you'll be able to do that. So I'm just turning my pot all the way around, making sure that my paint is consistent on both sides. And since we're having a little fun with it, I'm gonna take some of that teal, the pearl teal that I got originally, yeah. and I'm gonna see how it works. Now, I didn't wash my brush. I'm kind of doing an ombre. This has never been done by me before. I'm just kind of winging it, guys, having a little fun. Let's see how it turns out. So, I like it. It has a little iridescent kind of a pearly shimmer. That was pretty cool. So art should be fun, right? Don't always have to follow the rules. So there we go. A little iridescent aqua green and teal. Make it a little exciting, you know? See how that ombre? Can you see the ombre that's happening? Oh, so cute. Awesome. So I just got four birds, and today's their third day here, <laughs> and I think they're happy. So I'm sorry about the noise in the background. Hope you can hear me well. Um, I will introduce you to them soon. I think I hear my son coming down the stairs. Nope, that's my puppy scratching the door. She wants to come in. But you get the point. So this is it. These are the three colors and everything here dries very quickly. I like to paint the insides a little bit because, hi guys, because it just looks really nice when you have your plant inside and the dirt say stops like right around here. Can you see? Uh, whoop, yeah, there you go. So you still see the color of your clay pot. So I'm just going to take it all the way inside. I'm mixing the teal. And I'm also mixing in oops, some of that aqua green inside. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. One layer and then a second coat after it's dry. So see, looks something like that. So once that's done, give your brush a good rinse. And 
we are going to use our teeny tiny brush. Hey, Michael! Design arc of animals. <laughs> yes. I am Noah. That's what my friend said to me. She's like, is there something you know that we don't know? Like, why are you getting two of everything? But they're really, really cute. So I'm going to wait for this to dry. And I'm um, going to get my brush ready. And also my black paint and my yellow paint. So decor art. Hi, son. Yeah, no, I took it out. Did? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm on live. Okay. Bye. Okay. Sorry about that. That was my 14 year old looking for food. <laughs> so we're using Decker Art. Deco Art is an Americana brand and it is another acrylic paint and the color is bright yellow. So because the pink area is dry, I can start working in the pink area. This is where I'm going to be doing those flowers. Oh, that flower. So I'm doing that flower all the way around with my teeny tiny brush because this is a teeny tiny pot. Now, I see a spot that I don't want to be there. It's like a little purple on my pink. So I'm just going to put some more pink with a clean brush over it so it's nice and perfect. All right. Oops. Okay, there we go. So with my little teeny tiny brush, wet the tip, dry it off. Take some yellow paint, and this is how I make, can you see guys? This is how I'm going to make my yes, little tiny see. yellow flowers. Thank you, Acaria. Okay, so we're going to do one dot, turn the brush, two dots. Those look like these little hearts, kind of, right? And then third dot, see how it's starting to look like a flower? And you do that all the way around. I do five, four, okay? And then I'm gonna do one more. Now, if you have a blow dryer, it helps to speed up the drying time, okay? So I'm gonna do that design all the way around. Let me see if you can. Okay, and then again, two layers of that once it's dry. So one dot, two dots, three dots, a little bit more paint. Now see how I'm not using a lot of paint? It's just enough to cover the tip of your brush. Try not to overuse your paint. Just use just enough. Treat your brush very delicately. And you can move your clay pot around so whatever angle is comfortable for you, do what works. So you could turn your clay pot upside down if you have to, to get all of the flower petals. Okay. And then you keep adding as many as you possibly can. Try not to overcrowd it. So far I have one, two, three. I think I'm gonna go for two more. One, two, three, four, five. And then one more. Five petals, one, two, three, four, and five. So it should look something like that. You can make it brighter if you wanna add another coat of paint. Mine's gonna take a little time to dry because I clumped the paint on for the flowers. So it's kind of 3D. So I'm gonna give it some time to dry and go back to it after. 
So I'm still using the same brush, giving it a good rinse, twirl drying it on the paper towel. Okay. And now I'm going to get my black. So again, I'm using Deco Art Americana. This is black paint. It's called Lamp Ebony Black. Fancy name for black. It's just black. Squeezing a little bit. Now, you don't have to use a lot of paint because you're not going to be using too much on your clay pot. So just squeeze in small portions. If you need more, add. It's better to, you know, need to add more than to have too much and then waste it. Um, but, yeah, I just put a little tiny bit of the black paint. Oops, my paint's spilling. And that's it. Small brush. Black paint. A little bit of paint on the tip of the brush, not too much. And I'm going to create these swirls. See those swirls? And then put dots on either side. So this is very easy. Stick your finger inside, or all four fingers. I'm using all four because it gives me better balance. Use your thumb to balance it so it doesn't fall and break. And you're just going to go to your starting point and start moving now if you have a shaky hand like me today because i think i had way too much coffee um stabilize take your time but you don't have to rush it even if it takes you a little time you'll feel so good once it's done see so we're going to take this all the way around it's going to be so pretty and just so you know, like recently since this pandemic started, I have not thrown out any seeds. Any fruit that I have, if it's a lime, a lemon, whatever, an apple, grape, I found grapes with seeds in it. That was amazing. I keep all of my seeds. And then what I do is I say a prayer that it will actually grow because I don't have a green thumb. <laughs> But I kind of just like plant them all together. I know that's not the way to do it, but I feel like I'm doing something good by planting the seeds. Whatever grows, grows. If you have more intentional planting skills than I do, that's awesome. You could even label your flower pot, you know. But tis the season to plant flowers, so I'm going to finish off this curve. And somehow it worked out. It's not perfect, but I like it, okay? So there you go, all the way around and around and around and around. And I'm just gonna take some black, tip up the brush, do a dot there. Looks kind of tribal. I like it, it's very abstract. You have a design that you'd rather use, do it. If you want to do hearts instead of dots, do it. I would love to see what you guys create. If you could send us pictures, that would be nice. So I'm doing my dots all the way around. And once I'm done, I'm going to start writing the lettering for hope on the top. Okay, and then I um, wrote hope in pink, and the O is a heart. All right, so that's the next step. So I'm going to give my brush a good rinse, do a quick roll dry. When I say a roll dry, when you're using the really thin brushes, for ladies, you know what this eyeliner feeling is like, making sure your brush is pointy. Men, you may not be familiar with that, so I'm just going to give you a quick tip. You want to roll the brush so that it stays pointy, okay? So that's what I like to do with the teeny brushes. I like to roll it so the top, the tip of it is pointy and it's very precise. So we're going to take our pink paint that was spilling all over the place, and we're going to go up to the top. 
And just be careful of the black because there might be parts that are not dry. So if you rest your finger on it, you know, it's going to transfer and kind of mess up your painting. So just be careful where you rest your pinky. So I'm going to rest it up here. Keep it nice and steady. And I'm starting to create the word. Hope. And the O, I did my O in the shape of a heart. And I'll show you in one second. Okay. And there you have it, guys. Hope. We all need a little bit of hope today, right? So this is my hope flower pot. Okay, and so I'm going to go over my yellow once it's fully dry. It's probably going to take a few minutes, but that's how I created this. What do you think, Okaria? Did you like it? I love it. And I'm wondering, Cece, do we have to bake it when we're done? Like, so the color no. stays, anything like that? You can, but I never did that. And it seems to be still intact. Now, this one is only a year old. So I'm not really sure if it deteriorates after a while. Um, I'll have to experiment with the baking and I'll let you know what what happened. Right. And they can stay in the paint that you recommended. Is it good for outside or, or should yeah. you just keep it indoors? Yeah. It's oh, good for outside. Outside. Yeah. This was outdoors for a year with oh, all the wow, rain. Looks great. And yeah. And it, it's still, you know, still nice and clean for the most part. <laughs> yeah. No, that's it still looks really good for one year outside. That's great. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. yeah, as you can see, there's dirt in here still. I just changed over the plant that was in it before because it's spring. But I did bring it inside for the winter um, because it was still growing. But um, for the most part, like you can see a little bit of the black coming off here. Uh, just a tad bit of it. I'm probably just going to touch it up because I really enjoy painting. <laughs> but. <laughs> I will look into the baking and see, you know, if that option will actually help it to last even longer. Right. No, I just ask only because we're so used to it with glass, right? When we do like the wine, right. the wine glass painting. So we always say it then. So I wondered if it was treated the same, you know, ceramic and glass, if they were treated the same. Yeah, I will find out. But no, as of right now, I haven't done any of that. And it seems to be holding up pretty well. Yeah, that's fantastic. And you've got some comments here on the side. Aaron said, nice. Michael said, awesome. Sarah said, so pretty. It looks great. It really does. And this is such a time for us all to be crafty at home. And we all have, you know, these random ceramic pots throughout the house. Or sometimes we get pots from flowers that we get delivered. And then we just put them aside and we never use them again. So we could decorate them ourselves and make yeah, them personalized. And there are people that may have a collection of old vases. You could do that on the vase too. This paint works on the vase. Not this one, but the Martha Stewart, <clears throat> the deco art. Now, Martha Stewart has a no bake paint. Um, this oh. is a no bake. Yeah, it says just to make sure it cures for 21 days. And it says it's weather resistant. And you should dry one hour in between coats. So if you're layering like I did, typically, you know, you should wait an hour. But I couldn't right. let you do that <laughs> today. But, you know, if you're painting on your own, that's definitely something you could do. And it's good for glass. So this is a very cool multi-purpose paint. And Martha Stewart, of course, has, like, the most gorgeous color options. So this is definitely my go-to. Thank you for the paint suggestions because sometimes too it, you can go into Michael's and it can be so overwhelming because there's so many different options. You know, yeah. it's like being in the shampoo aisle but with paint. So, you know, having someone from a professional standpoint at least point us in the right direction. Thank you. That's great. You're welcome. No problem. Yay. Well, um, I have to share with you guys. I have a link. Now, 
I may have to make you a separate video. I don't have a video for this painting. We originally were going to do, I think I moved it. It was a minion paint pot. And I don't think that would have been appropriate for us. But I do the minion paint pots with teens and children. This right. is more of an adult option. I do have other adult options. So if you do go to my YouTube, guys, I'm constantly uploading how-to videos, tutorials, and I'm also um, going to be sharing the how-to for this particular pot in a few days. So um, you could check back in. Okaria, I guess I could send you my link for YouTube. Maybe you can share it with everyone. Sure. And okay. actually, do you can you put it here in the chat? And then whoever's on the chat can can go right there. They can click on the link. Okay. And Meryl was asking, does Michael sell the Martha Stewart paint? Yes, but unfortunately, Great. they're closed. So you may have to order it online. But if you do, always look for coupons because Michael's always has coupons. Great. Thank and you I help. <laughs> so I'm telling you this. I don't know if it's going to work. I've never done this before. This is all new to me. But I'm just going to send it in the chat. Let me know if it works for you guys. Oh, it did. Perfect. If you click on it, does it take you to my YouTube or does it ask you it to does. log in? I just did it. It does. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice. Oh, okay, great. So I'm and adjusting. <laughs> yeah, we all are. And we're all our everyone's YouTube yeah. channels are growing a little bit more, including ours. So you can check this video out oh. too on the Oceanside Libraries page, because I'll be uh, putting this on this recording. So check can it out. Can you send the link days. for that in the chat? Not yet since, it, oh, the Oceanside link, I can. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that was great. It. And I'll, I'll definitely subscribe. That's so cool. You guys are so hip. It's amazing. Oh, thank you, Felicia. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I um, hope to get to paint with you guys again soon. Maybe next time we can all help each other along with video. If you have the supplies, that would be great. We could do it together. Awesome, Celicia. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for joining us this Sunday. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and stays safe and healthy. And, uh, and you too, Cece. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you bringing this program online for us. My pleasure. Thank you, Karia.